Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Psalm chapter 66, where an unknown writer wrote about God's mighty power. He or she began, Come and hear all of you who fear God. I will tell of what he has done for my soul. I cried out to him and he heard me. If I loved my sin, God would not hear my prayer. But I hate my sin, so God has heard. All the earth will worship the King. The author continued, The Lord stopped the Jordan River from flowing. His people walked through on dry ground. The Lord parted the Red Sea. Again, his people walked through on dry ground. God rules over the nations and he will reign forever. God will not allow our foot to slip. In this life, God has tried us and refined us like silver in a fire. God brought an oppressive burden onto us, but he will bring us safely home to live with him forever. Blessed is the Lord who has done great things for us. The most important verses in this chapter are Psalm 66 verses 3 through 4, which state, Say unto God, How terrible art thou in thy works! Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. The earth shall worship thee and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing unto thy name. Selah. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that he rules over all the nations, but he has a special kind of relationship with his children. We call out to him in prayer, and he actually answers us. And God wants us to see that he tests us in this life like silver is refined in a fire. Once the refining is done, a perfect piece of metal emerges from the ashes. Are you a real Christian living through some hard times right now? Be comforted knowing that God is crafting something amazing in your life. Perhaps you aren't a Christian yet. Perhaps today will be the day. Repent for your sin and place your faith in Jesus for salvation. Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross as my substitute and your substitute. And the Father raised Jesus from the dead. We broke God's law, but Jesus paid our fine. Jesus also conquered hell and death, and his return is near. God said that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, you would be saved. Why don't you do that right now? Hey, thanks for watching the Psalm chapter 66 episode. If you enjoyed it, please share it with someone. If you want to join me on this long video journey, feel free to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.